Hello and welcome to Lord Fenton Gaming Plays Divinity Original Sin 2 Definitive Edition. I'm your host Lord Fenton and today's Divinity Original Sin 2 Definitive Edition video Sir uh, Laura and the uh, Busket Heads are going to be doing some companion uh, quests and one or two uh, side missions in the process. As always like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more uh, Divinity Original Sin 2 videos like this. Now the introductions are done and over with, we're going to do Seville's uh, companion quest first. Yeah, we're going to get her out of the way, at least be part of her companion quest. Stingtail, we're going to have to take care of business. I would advise letting uh, Seville uh, take care of it. It'll make things much, much easier. As you're about to approach the lizard, Seville cups your chin between thumb and index finger, then guides your eyes to hers. Listen, I need to have a chat with this here morsel of flesh. He has wronged me once, but may just do right by me this time. To your surprise, Sabeel proceeds to throttle the unsuspecting lizard with one hand as she drives the tip of her needle into his lower belly with the other. Then the questions commence. You hear him yelp about the master, lone wolves, and a man called Griff. Then, quite suddenly, there's blood everywhere as Stingtail falls to the ground, face first into his own intestines. Sabeel heaves a sigh of satisfaction, and as she wipes her needle clean, shoots you a cursory look. Chat's over. So, that seemed just a tad excessive. What you witnessed was an exercise in restraint. And jolly good fun to boot. Hmm? Something on your mind? It's simple. He scarred me, so I scarred him. Extensively. She defies you with devilishly innocent eyes. Can you blame me? There it is. I was wondering when your spying would make an appearance. Anyway, what's dead is done, so let's move on, shall we? Despite my high hopes, this scar disfigures me still. The search for the master continues, of course. Hungry work, the hunt. And you know what? I'm feeling a bit peckish. Stingtail mentioned a cook, as it happens. A fellow named Griff. Two birds, one stone. How about it? All right, Seville for the win! Stingtail is now dead. And sleeping with the fishes? Yes. That's nice. Some uh, fire spells. That's good. iFan's going to be happy. Now, here's the thing about Seville and her uh, companion quests. Yeah, you need to be careful with her. She's an assassin. Most likely, you got to let her do the dirty work. And yeah, even your uh, moral uh, code gets broken. That's too bad. But Seville's a very powerful assassin slash rogue. So yeah, you got to keep her happy. Besides, Stingtail scarred her face, so I call that an even trade. Her beautiful face scarred, and uh, Stingtail's life has been taken. Yeah, that's correct, folks. He is dead. Sabeel isn't. Plus, we got some free loot. And uh, when you do kill certain NPCs in the game, his personal stuff around will no longer be red. Instead, it'll be white. That means one thing, one thing only. Looting rights! Yes, that is correct. We get to loot everything around the camp. Let's see here. That's nice fish bones. I probably should have looted that bedroll, but I'll see you in a future video if I do need that. All right, a frying pan. That is not bad at all. Decent uh, one-handed mace weapon. Now, after that is all said and done, and looting rights is now officially ours, thanks to uh, Stingtail, who is dead and sleeping with the fishes, we're going to talk to uh, Griff. Yeah, not Griff from Back to the Future, by the way. Griff, who's a uh, boss of this uh, camp, I believe. Well, mob boss, but still. With Seville, we should have no problems if we do have to fight him. Well, this will be the first major combat in town. Probably not a good idea, but you know what? We'll see what's going on. If I have to fight, I'll fight for my companions. And yeah, you want to check your companions' attitude because you may never know if there's a certain situation arises. But for now, we'll go here, speak with Griff, and see what kind of information we can get from him. Sabille gently places a hand on the small of your back. Her mouth reaches your ear with a whisper. Let me have a word with the gentleman, would you? 
I've a little clue to follow up on. Sibyl steps forward and asks Griff the cook about the lone walls. A dead little birdie told her he's the man to talk to. A little back and forth ensues. Money crosses hands, and before you know it, Sibyl stands back beside you, all smiles. Thank you. We should make good on our escape, you know. I have to see a man about a wolf in the hollow marshes. Naught but a whelp in skillful hands, I'm sure. Zalaskar's his name. A name for the taking, if it comes to that. Well, I thought I had to fight with Griff. Well, guess what? Seville and Griff had talking. And look like we got the information. That is the good news right here. Zalaskar will be our next target. However, before a future video, since the area he is in is most likely over leveled. For now, I'm going to try to stick near town or in town as much as possible. Now, next up on the list is iFan's uh, companion quest. Yeah, I'm going to be doing that. Also, I'm going to be doing anything that is not nailed down so that's why I don't get caught. Alright, another uh, busket. Yes! That is number three right there in the video, folks. That's the third busket. So now, next up is this uh, iFan's uh, companion quest. So let's see how it goes. As you approach the unsmiling magister, Ifan catches your arm and speaks to you with some urgency. I need to talk to this one for a few moments. Alone. Ifan strides up to the Magister, speaking in a calm and controlled voice. Though you can't hear what he whispers, the Magister's face turns whiter than snow as he hands a note to Ifan with shaking hands. D -d -d don't! I'll give you the information. Here, just, just, d -d don't! All right. Ifan walks back to you, leaving the quivering wreck of a Magister behind. When he catches your eye, he winks. Ifan catches you looking over at him. He raises his eyebrows. What? He barks a laugh, then shakes his head sheepishly. I wanted some information. That Magister wanted to negotiate. I negotiated. Ah, oh, it's just practice. All in the way you set your jaw, lad. I'll teach you someday. <laughs> I only do it when it's necessary, and it was necessary back there. He wanted me to kill someone. I didn't want to kill them. Being a little impolite seemed the least bad option. That's about the size of it for me, all right. And now that we agree, shall we agree to keep moving? After reading the scrap of paper he took from the Magister, Ifan marks a spot on your map and looks out to the far horizon. All right, Ifan has taken care of business. That's uh, great news. Now, bad news is uh, Ifan and Sabeel's uh, companion cast quest will actually uh, cross paths, so I will need to juggle this very carefully to keep both of them very uh, happy. So most likely I'll have Ifan speak with uh, the guy first unless he kills him, then yeah. Most likely I'll reload a save. But for now, I'm gonna grab some uh, side quests in this area here but let's start with uh, crafting again now you know me sometimes when I uh, play games I like to discover crafting yeah if you didn't know that well guess what you know that now so for instance I'm gonna be working with this log here yeah I'm gonna just start with experimentation in this game you may never know you might craft something that's really powerful the Vinny original sin the first game if you have the blacksmithing layer on that's high or a character that has that well, guess what? Your items are be very powerful and very uh, good. With the exception of a uh, haste boots. Yeah, you need to find those drops, but still. I'm going to do some experimentation. Let me try a log with a knife slash shiv that made two long branches, which is great right there. Let's see if I could do some more experimentation. Let's see here. Let's grab a long branch here. See if I could um, do something else with it. Let's try the bowstring. 
make myself a nice longbow. Nope, that didn't count. All right, let's try, let's see here, uh, pocket knife. At the time, I was supposed to grab something else for it, but it didn't work. There you go. Now I have two short sticks, which is good. Let me check this out. One short stick. I'm going to attach the uh, bowstring, see if it does a little bit better with iFan. But I doubt it. But let me uh, check this out. Yeah, let me grab it. There you go. Let me combine it up. And look at that, folks. A twig with a string. Homemade bow. Pretty nice, though. But I already got one for iFan. But still, it's pretty nice crafting this game. It's a really good system. You gotta discover the recipes or experiment on your own. Just try both ways, it's great. I'm just looking over, I think that's it. Alright, next up I'm gonna do this side mission right here to see if I can do get yielding any uh, rewards or results. Which is very important, I do mean very important. But let's go over here, I'm not gonna do that one yet, that's gonna be for another uh, video, but I'll grab it anyways. But for now, I'm gonna talk to these two uh, to start this uh, side quest. help me. No one here will help me. Not one of these bastards. A child is missing. My baby. Oh, bless you. Bless you. She's been missing for days now, and not a single soul will help me look for her. Irma's her name. She's about as high as your hip. Lack of hair. A quiet child. Not prone to wandering off. I'm sick with worry. Completely sick. And no one in this damn camp will lift a finger to help me find her. I last saw her just here, near three days ago. She was playing with her little doll, and I was washing out her tunic. I turned from her for one moment, and she was gone. Left her doll behind, too. It's so unlike her. Yes, of course. Here, you should take it with you. When you find her, give her the doll and tell her... Mummy says this is for her little chicken, and it's time to come home. She soaks up a steady stream of tears with her shirt sleeve. She ought to come with you then. She ought to follow you back to me. This place turns people cold, cold and wicked. That fellow Jeth over there speaks unutterable evil, but I can't move away from him. What if Irma comes back and I'm not here? You are an angel. Truly, you are. The fella can't hear himself think with all this racket. Day and night, she hollers after that child. You hear that, Farah? You got to cut that out. What's happened to you? Known her all my life. Her little girl, Irma, too. Farah was a straight shooting woman in those days, but now she's madder and a cuckoo in twice as loud. What else do you call hollering after a ghost? That child of hers she's shouting after has been dead and buried a month over. Killed by a void woken back in our home village. Never even stepped foot in Fort Joy. And there ain't no amount of hollering that'll bring her back. back. Please, did you find Irma? She still hasn't returned. Where could she be, my dear girl? You've been talking to that snake, Jeth, haven't you? I don't know where he gets these obscene lies. It's sick, totally sick, to torture a mother so. You stay away from that man, do you hear me? Irma isn't. What Jeth says is a lie. You hear me? She ignores you and continues calling out for her Irma. She don't listen to reason. Maybe you'll have better luck than I. If I have to hear her calling after Irma another day, I might lose my head. And there's not a soul here who'd blame me. Well, it looked like that uh, quest is a major bummer. It looked like it got taken out of the game, including the rewards. But, oh, well, at least I did find this book. Let's check it out. Let's go read. Let's see here. Hmm, that is interesting. Sharp piece of metal. Two new recipes. I think I did learn some daggers. Yeah, I learned uh, shivs. Pretty good. Pretty good. So now uh, that is done. Learned something new. 
Next up, I'm going to grab this uh, side quest, actually. I'm going to show everybody how to complete the peaceful solution. That's correct. We're going to be doing some peaceful solutions in this video as much as possible as I'm uh, looking over the uh, crafting. Yeah, get used to that because I love crafting in games. It's pretty cool. So now I'm going to do is climb up and start this uh, quest here, which I believe they uh, call it the Murderous uh, Geist. So, wish me luck on starting it. You there? I'm looking for an inmate. He wears a large bronze ring with a dragon stamped into it. Name of Migo. Have you seen him? Useless. It is a very important matter that I locate this Migo. Tell me if you hear mention of him. Well, I got the side quest. I have to hunt down Migo. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to do that yet because on my way to the uh, Peaceful Solution uh, quest item, what will happen is uh, there will be another quest that will just pop right up. Really cool though. This game does surprise you big time. So, you know what? Let's go grab this quest. You. You there. You, you've just arrived, isn't that right? Are you... Are you quite alone? It's just, I've a proposition, something, something very worth knowing, but it's hardly a group affair. I only need one. In that case, listen up. You must think me mad to approach a stranger, but this camp is full of cowards and I'm running out of time. Fast, too fast, way too fast. I've been here a long time, longer than anyone else. People get taken sometimes. Some folks say they get cured. I don't know if I believe it, and I don't want to wait and find out. I have a way out of here. It won't be easy, and I need a partner. Just one. Are you interested? Had a boy. Who wouldn't? Finally, someone with a little sense around here. The plan's simple, completely foolproof. I have a spell that I can use to teleport you right out of here. I can't use it on myself, but with your help, we can both get out of here. There's an artifact that you can use to teleport me out of this place. Then I can use my spell to free you in turn. Uh, this item, though, it's in quite an unfortunate location. It's found its way into a nest of crocodilians on a secluded beach nearby. Here, give me your map and I'll show you where to go. Not enough to trouble a fine specimen such as yourself. Get that artifact, and you and I are as good as free. Go give those overgrown lizards what for. Alright, look like that NPC gave us a uh, quest to uh, get some... Uh teleporter going or something like that however we have to deal with some kind of form of crocodile like creature yeah guess what we're not gonna do that in this video it is a bit too uh, dangerous really dangerous in fact it's bad for my uh, health really bad now I'm gonna try to look for this yarrow uh, flower yeah it's very important to get it otherwise what will happen is you have to fight me ago and I'm not going to be fighting that. Besides, you get more experience if you do the peaceful solution, plus a nice fat reward. And that's what I'm all about for this video, uh, is uh, getting everybody fat reward and show everybody how to uh, do that. So now that's said and done, looting everything I can. Wait, is that a busket? Oh yes, it is a busket. Yes! Losha now has a busket. Now everybody on the team has a busket, so Sir Laura and the uh, busket heads are officially christened. Yes, that is the team name I am keeping for the rest of this Let's Play series. Until Larian Studios don't like the name, then yeah, I'll change the name. Everybody else? Nope. So for now, I'm going to keep on uh, going and keep on grabbing everything I can in sight. And we are actually going to look for uh, Migo. Yeah, we're going to be finding Migo. And we're going to be doing the peaceful solution. I always say peaceful solution is the very best solution in the entire uh, game. So let me check over here. That looks good. 
There is a dwarf look like trying to heal somebody else. I'll contend with that in another uh, video. But for now, Migo is more important. So let's check over here, see if anything's going on. Okay. Oh boy. Let's see if I can hound this uh, peacefully. The creature heaves through lips gummed with human gore. It turns to you with great effort, pain apparent in every movement, and madness screams from its wide, bloodshot eyes. You, 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 you. Quite lost. Quite lost. Quite lost. Careful, or they'll cross your wires. <laughs> now, a little query. Where grows the yarrow? Hmm? Hmm? Quickly now, for I haven't much time. The creature gingerly takes the plant into his bloodied hands. He runs his fingertips over the white flowers. His panting breath slows. Darling, dear. Dear, darling child. Hello, Yarrow Girl. Can it really be you? The creature clenches the plant tightly. His breath quickens. He seems liable to lunge at you at the drop of a pin. You wouldn't understand. A father's pride. A father's love. The creature begins to weep. Fast, silent tears spill from his eyes as he clutches the little cluster of flowers to his heart. For you, my ring. Heart of me. Name of Migo. Thank you. Well, I got the peaceful solution, so guess what? We are going back to uh, Magistrate Yarrow. Yeah, we're going to go back to Magistrate Yarrow and uh, actually finish the side quest. Actually finish it 100%. And we're going to do it the peaceful solution. Because you may never know. There might be hidden allies, and we might have found one of them. Allies is always good. Oh, that's not bad. Let's see if I could grab that. Oh, wow, that's a pot. If I remember right, think Divinity Original Sin, there was a recipe you could make the pot into a helmet. Which is real nice. It's an upgrade from the buskets. But also, I think I remember in the first game, you could also uh, combine that. Let's see if I can combine it. I don't know if I can, but I'll attempt to try it. No, I'll try again. Oh, boy, I got some uh, negative uh, affinity. Oops, but let's check out the shop again. Amidst a crowd of screws, bolts, and scraps of metal, the woman is manipulating a glove-like contraption fitted with five long metal skewers. She doesn't look up as you approach. And what you after? I ain't. Just seeing how it's made. She's clever, Dallas. Made these herself, for those bodyguards of hers. Boy, they're sharp. She looks up. You looking to buy something? All manner of things. Have a look. Well, this is the uh, shop system. In the last video was barter, also a shop system. But if you uh, turn some of your items into uh, wares, you can actually uh, sell those items for a uh, coin, which is very nice. There's actually some very uh, good items to uh, buy up, too. There's some uh, good summoner books, which is really good. You may never know. I might make one of my uh, party members to a summoner, too. Yeah, this game is seriously flexible. I do mean extremely flexible, which is very good. Any game that is uh, flexible is uh, all right in my book. Let's see if I can make another uh, long branch. All right, that's good for now. All right, that's an improvised staff. However, I am going to go into wands most likely with uh, Losha. And I can't steal any of those, unfortunately. Boo. So now next up, we're going to go to uh, Magistrate Yarrow. And I actually uh, turned this in, which is really good. Really good. So, same as four, go upstairs. Do not go to your left. You'll get into combat, which is uh, bad. So, I'm going to go up the stairs and uh, get the next step for this uh, side quest here. Let me uh, find her first. There she is. And let's uh, resume the side quest. Don't disturb me again, unless you've seen me go. You have seen him? Tell me, where was he? And you're... you're very sure it was him. She inspects the ring closely. 
This can't be. You said he was upon the beach, yes? I need to have a look myself. This... this simply can't be. Woohoo! Yes! I am a hero. Yes, uh, certain actions will give you titles. And I just got myself a hero title, which is very good. So now we're going to follow Magistrate Yarrow and go to Migo and reunite this family. Yeah, we're definitely going to reunite this uh, family. It's the right thing to do. It's always the right thing to do. Make sure when you click, do not click on any red because you might get into combat, which is bad, really bad. So now I'm going to go over here, check everything out. Yeah, I'm almost there. So once I do get there, I'm going to let this uh, family reunion go down and pick some uh, choices to help people out who's uh, stuck on this uh, side mission. So here we go with the peaceful solution. Oh, is that... is that really you? Little Yarrow girl. Grown up, flower-headed girl. What have they done? Beast! Watch your mouth, inmate. You're in the presence of an honorable man. She looks at her father and manages a small smile. As am I. It's strange. It almost reminds me of the creatures Dallas keeps at her side. Sometimes you hear a kind of muttering beneath their masks. She reaches out to touch her father's hand. He withdraws it quickly before remembering himself and reaching out to Yarrow again. I had no idea. What a fool I am. There were always rumors about the hammer. Dallas, that is. What she was doing with the prisoners she hauled off to her fortress. Why they never joined the rank and file thereafter. I suppose... I suppose now I know. Wait, before you go... You've helped us a great deal today. Let me help you too. Take this key. I'll show you where you can use it. It opens a door leading into the fort that may help you get out of this wretched place. It isn't too late for you. Not yet. Oh wow, besides your normal rewards right there, it looks like it's randomized, which is good. Wait a second, is that a large mallet? Oh, yeah! My guy has a two-handed weapon and also special arrows for Ifan. Let's give Ifan his uh, arrows and let me get my two-handed mallet. There you go. We're going to do some Holly Quinn action in a future video or so. Yeah, I'm going with uh, two-handed weapons. Plus, now I have looting rights since uh, the two uh, are reunited, the family members. And plus, I have gotten a secret way... To get through another area which is very uh, good that's nice too that has some good gloves right there i have to say goodbye to the busket for now unfortunately but you know what that busket treated me well for uh, two videos almost three but you have to upgrade sometimes so that's good so now next up i'm gonna go in this uh cavern so what happened was in the last video i protected this elf lass with a eye fan chased away the thugs and she said meet at the cavern we're going to do that and claim our reward. So I'll make a prompt to save. There you go. Game is saved now in case there are some hard dialogue. So I'm going to enter this cavern right here. And then I'm going to uh, do some uh, quests. Back, evil ogre, or I'll get you with my sword. I'll spare you this time, beast. But don't cross me again, ever. <laughs> You're really fun. Hey, I'm gonna hide somewhere in the cave and you come find me. Ready? Go! We'll speak with the boy later on, so let's talk with the elven last, shall we? Thank you for your help with that thug. Rare is the human who goes against their own for an elf. She bows. In this cave. We trust Sahela. She is young, but she sees. She knows more than we know. In the camp, the brute Griff rules. 
He who gives the bread has the power. I hear of no escapes. The only way out is through. Through the Magisters, through their cure. Thugs, I can stand, but oh, I fear the Magisters. It gives me great pain. I'm with my family. We are making beautiful magic. We are healing a tree cut down with great violence. The Magisters come. My family runs, but I fall. My son looks back. I shout to him to run. I am taken. Wait, before you go, I am not here without your help. I do not forget this. For you, a prize. I save it for a special occasion, but I can think of no finer occasion than this. Thank you. Wow, the rewards are very uh, good. Uh, that's nice right there. War balloon, in case I need to do some war uh, balloons. And there you go. I put the hood for now. I think I'm going to give that to uh, my main character. Since I am building up armor and magic armor. Yeah, my build requires that. There you go. One magic armor right there is good. And give Losha the uh, hat. Yeah, it looks weird on her. I'll uh, turn that off later on. Now I'm going to do Losha's uh, companion uh, quest. So I'm going to do that and see what's going on. As you approach the young elf, Losa suddenly grabs your arm. Her hand is damp. Her face looks pale and grey. Hey, listen, I, I don't know why, but, but I think I need to talk to this elf. You mind? I don't... I can't... I, I just need to talk to her, okay? She turns towards Sahela. She darts over to the elf without responding. They begin talking in earnest, more quietly than you can overhear. Losa suddenly snatches up both the elf's hands and leans close to her. Her voice rises. You have to tell me. The whites of Losa's eyes fade to grey, then black. The colour runs into her veins, crisscrossing her skin like lightning. She keeps hold of Sahela's hands. It rises in you even now, Losa. Do not let it. You must be strong. Be strong. Fight. Fight. You are okay. You are yours. No one else's. Shut up. Let go. Let go. Let go. I don't want to hurt her. Don't make me. Losa is rigid as a board, tense with the effort of holding Sahela's hands in tight, painful bunches. Leave me alone. Leave me! I don't want to! You are hurting me! Losa's eyes are black. Sahila's fingers are white under her grasp. Let me go! Please! A sinister smile spreads across Losa's lips. She jerks the elf toward her. Chatty, chatty elf. Chatty elf with all the answers. I wonder what your blood tastes like. Losa, please. You, you must not defend her. She wakes if she is weakened. We must hurt her to protect her, you see? I bet the elf blood tastes like honey, like nectar, like joy itself. Let's find out. You must weaken her to help her. Sorry, no, sir. Prepare 
is almost enough. A few more hits. She comes back okay. to us when she is weaker. Yeah, thanks. I feel him, but I do not see him. What? Don't look at me like that. I didn't do anything. It was that thing, whatever it is. It's just a visitor. It has nothing to do with me. Good. Let's keep moving. I want to get out of this bloody place as soon as possible. I'm fine. You're fine. We're fine. I just want to get out of here. Let's go. Oh boy, uh, Losha is going to be a handful, a real handful thanks to the uh, voice taking over her body. That is not good. That is actually very, very scary. But we cannot resume this uh, companion quest. That will probably be in a future video, just like the other two, but still, it was pretty good dialogue and story, and I had to knock some sense in Losha. Plus, I did test out my new uh, hammer, or as I say, uh, mallet, which is really good. So now next up I am going to play hide and seek with this uh, boy so this is why I will get another uh, quest for a future video. Most likely the next video but let's go find the kid right now. Yeah we're going to do some nice hide and seek with the kid. It's fun to play games in this game. A game within a game. That is very nice I say so there he is right there. And there he goes again, vanishes. And he quaff an invisibility potion or use uh, invisibility magic. Oh, well, he has a source collar on him, so yeah, he couldn't cast uh, spells like that. Big ol' oops, but for now I'm gonna go over here. Let's keep on searching here. Introduce. It's I N T R O D U C E. No. Unfortunately, we do not have a shovel at all. That's going to be in the next video. A quest for a shovel. Yeah, I'm going to be doing this uh, caverns uh, quest first. Yeah. See, it says you need a shovel or a lizard, and I just did uh, Red Prince in the last video for Seville. Yeah. I just did that. So let me review. Seville so uh, advanced two steps further into her uh, personal uh, quest. Ifan advanced one step. Losha advanced uh, one step. You know, she's starting to get a little bit crazy, but we got to take care of her. She's good. I finished two uh, side quests. I got myself two rewards, which is good. In our next video, Sir Laura and the Busket Heads will go into the caverns after finding a shovel. This is it for my Divinity Original Sin 2 Definitive Edition uh, video. This is Lord Fenton signing off. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching, and worship Sir uh, Laura.